Writing Revision. Lesson Objectives. All learners will get reading mock feedback or complete the reading mock. Revise descriptive versus factual writing. Revise SPAG, sentences, punctuation and grammar for effect. Revise how to make stories and story openings engaging. There is a good guide to writing skills on Bite Size. You can Google BBC Bite Size writing skills. Descriptive writing. What's the difference between factual and creative writing? Well, it's language techniques. Here is a creative description. It uses adjectives, similes, etc. to give more details about the elements of the scene. The creaking wooden boardwalk crossed the swamp like a snake, starting and finishing on the firm forest floor, and it crossed the shallow valley where reeds and rushes grew, surrounded by frolicking fish and frogs. The daisy sun shone in blazing patches through the tall, sinuous trees above. Splashes of light landed on the forest floor where the dragonflies met and mated. The buzzing of insects, determined wood saws, could be heard all the way to the other side of the valley. Notice the alliteration and metaphors as well. These are the elements I'm looking for you to include in your writing. Here is a piece of factual description. It lacks most of the adjectives, similes, metaphors and other features which increase the descriptive elements. The wooden boardwalk crossed the swamp, starting and finishing on the forest floor, and it crossed the valley where the plants grew, surrounded by fish and amphibians. The sun shone through the trees, light landed on the forest floor where insects were seen. The buzzing of insects could be heard all the way to the other side of the valley. There might be some alliteration, but there's very little active creative description. Here's something to do. List five words you could use in a piece of descriptive writing about these topics. Think of a setting first. Think especially of adjectives, adverbs, nouns and verbs. You need to remember what those are. The five topics are rescue, beach, stranger, lost and tunnel. I've given you an adjective and an adverb to get you started. Brave, an adjective. Bravely, an adverb. Here are some suggested words for rescue, brave, bravely, desperate, struggle, relief. For the beach, gritty, screeching, swishing, warmth, sour. That could be the vinegar on your chips or the smell of the seaweed. Stranger, unfamiliar, eyes, shadow, pursuit, glance. Lost, search, anxious, thirsty, stumble, forest. Tunnel, gloom, echo, brick, damp, light. We already learnt about some creative writing techniques. Can you remember any? These are some of the creative writing techniques we've learnt about, but also ways of mixing your writing up to make it more interesting and less tedious to read so that all the sentences aren't the same. So you could use metaphor, simile, emotive language, lists of three, imagery, alliteration and assonance and sibilance. Personification. Adjectives, especially powerful ones, complex sentences with commas, minor or short sentences for effect, semicolons, don't forget they can replace joining words, start a sentence with a verb, an adverb, a noun, an adjective, use a quotation and make sure your words fit into the right semantic field and are appropriate to your topic. Sentences, punctuation and grammar. In order to revise sentences, punctuation and grammar, you can watch this video on my channel, which you have already seen. So find Ruth's English channel on YouTube and look for this video, Punctuation for Effect, and it will explain how to use complex sentences, minor sentences and commas and full stops, etc. for effect, not just to write ordinary sentences, but to do special jobs when you're writing. Story or narrative. How do we make them engaging? Use a narrative hook. For example, it came from the rock. 
Which are the two narrative hooks in this sentence? There are two narrative hooks in this sentence. Number one, we start by referring to it as it. It's a pronoun. We've not introduced the noun first, so what is it? Secondly, it's coming out of a rock. This is usually impossible. What's happening? Remember 1984? It's important to make stories engaging by thinking of what's obvious and choosing something that's not. For example, remember when we read about the boy who was late for school? That's a bit boring. But the story was set in Nazi Germany during World War II. And during the day, he showed a refugee where to go and saved her life. That made the story a lot more engaging. What would be the obvious things to write about this picture? What would be unexpected? The obvious would be that he's old, sad or poor. The unexpected might be that he used to be an Olympian or saved a life or the story could be from the perspective of his dog. What would be the obvious things to write about this picture? What would be unexpected? The obvious would be that the story is sad or about death. The unexpected would be that it's being fed by a cemetery visitor every day. Maybe it's tame. Crows are very good at finding things. Maybe it could find something important. What would be the obvious things to write about this picture? What would be unexpected? The obvious would be that someone needs to escape from a sinking ship. The unexpected might be that someone is swimming towards the ship for rescue or after rescuing, or you're a seagull. What would be the obvious things to write about this picture? What would be unexpected? The obvious would be that people are tired and overworked and on a boring journey. The unexpected would be that someone's on their way to receive the winnings of a lottery ticket or perhaps attend an audition. What would be the obvious things to write about this picture? What would be unexpected? The obvious would be that someone's going on a train journey. The unexpected might be that they're returning from a challenging event or from a, the perspective of staff or a pigeon. Try and think of obvious and unexpected scenarios for all these pictures. A rescue dog. A remote shack. An empty water bottle. Three very old people going for a walk in the park. Take 10 minutes to plan one of these into a story. Use an unexpected element and try and plan your narrative hook. What's the difference between factual and descriptive writing? What are complex and minor sentences used for? Name two ways to make your writing engaging. What's the difference between factual and descriptive writing? Language techniques. What are complex and minor sentences used for? Complex sentences are used for detail and explaining. And minor sentences are used for tension or starting and ending strongly. How do we make stories and story openings engaging? We use narrow narrative hooks and an interesting perspective or setting.